Bridge, you guys, today we're taking a look at taking full control of your Windows firewall. Now, we all know that Windows firewall is built into Windows, but it it's not very user friendly. You can't really uh, just go in here and easily manage uh, the Windows firewall settings. And some people find it a bit daunting. But what if I told you there is a program that gives you access to the Windows firewall and can make your system more secure and block a lot of stuff that you don't want going out of your computer. You can see it here. It's called Windows uh, Firewall Control, and we'll take a look at it in this video. So Windows Firewall Control is a powerful tool which extends the functionality of your Windows firewall and provides a quick access to all the most frequently used features inside the Windows firewall. You can see here, I'll leave the link in the video description. It just makes using Windows Firewall more usable and you can do quite a bit with it. And I'll show you in this video. So let's take a look and we're gonna get it downloaded uh, by one of these links on the right hand side here. So let's go ahead and get this downloaded and then we can click on the installation uh, file here. And here it is here. And we're gonna go ahead and get this installed on the system. It's completely safe to use, and I'm going to leave these settings as is, and then we'll just go to the next button. Let's go install, and uh, once this is installed, it's only a small little program. It shouldn't take too long to get this installed. And what this will do is it will give you notifications of when stuff is leaving your computer, i.e. when something is calling home, you can then actually stop it or block it or you can allow it. And there's some good useful features here. This is the actual panel here, the actual control panel for Windows Firewall. So controlling the outbound connections is really important. And this will give you much more control over your system. So if anything's calling home, you can actually block it. And uh, malware is easier to detect with this particular program as well. And any sort of programs that you don't want calling home, you can block them. So going into the profiles here, you can see we have high filtering and this is all outbound and inbound connections are blocked. We don't want to do that, but the medium filtering is recommended. This is outbound connections that do not match a rule uh, are blocked. Only the programs with allow rules will be allowed to enter out of the computer. That means it's going to be blocking a lot of uh, outbound traffic. We've got low filtering and no filtering. And then you've got down here automatically set uh, the medium filtering after 30 minutes. And you can set this to whatever time you want here, five minutes, 30 minutes, whatever uh, you're doing here. So we're just going to put, say, for instance, a different number in here just to show you uh, that you can actually change this. So it's very good at blocking outbound traffic. Next up, we've got notifications. Notifications uh, mode specifies which uh, blocked outbound connections should be displayed to the user. And you can see at the moment it's set to disable. Now, learning mode will automatically create an outbound rule uh, for you uh, automatically, but we're going to be putting this to display notifications. And this will then pop up a little box like this down the bottom right-hand side to give you uh, information to say, do you want to allow this to uh, go out of the computer? or do you just want to block this program? So it gives you full control, and you can block inbound and outbound traffic. This is an outbound uh, connection here, and we can block it if we want to, or we can allow it to go out. Again, Chrome wants to go out of the computer. We're going to allow that, and so does Edge, and uh, that's those three done. It's that simple. But once you get it all set up, it won't nag you every single time uh, with pop-ups. It's just... When you're going to install a new program, it'll probably give you a couple of little pop-ups. So you can choose which option you want there. Moving on to the options section here, uh, specify below the options to apply for all user accounts from the local computer. So you can see here, shell integration here, start automatically at user logon. And we have here some language. So depending on what country you live in, there's some languages there that you can choose. You even got access to global hotkeys, which is going to allow you to uh, use hotkeys for the main panel, for the rules panel and the connections log and so on. So you can set up a shortcut key for these by pushing on them and it will take you straight to that location. 
down here we have the import user settings the export uh, settings file and reset all of the settings to default values so if you've messed it up and you don't know what to do you can just reset it back and it's quite useful in the rule section here uh, outbound is recommended it says specify the direction for which a new rule is applied when creating a new rule outbound is what we're blocking you can have outbound and inbound it's not recommended but you've also got inbound as well i'm more concentrating on the outbound so let's go ahead and block the outbound here you've also got uh, some more tabs on the side here which is your security security below uh, the security enhancements that will be enforced by malware bytes windows firewall control you can see here secure boot we have a secure profile and secure rules so you can choose whatever you like here and read for all the information to make sure that you want which one you want to set in yours i'm going to put the check mark in the secure profile because this will protect windows uh, firewall uh, this one here will give you a little information box which you can um, get a read on before you commit to it but so i'll leave this one and i'll say no here but i do want to check mark the secure profile which will protect windows firewall state from external tampering so this feature will basically once it's enabled will stop people from tampering with these settings unless they're using this application on the computer here we have the tools section here we've got resource monitor event viewer a windows firewall control panel and and also the windows firewall with advanced uh, security there's also some other links down below here as you can see you can click on these links here as well which will open up a shortcut to these uh, locations here and that's all that does there so let me just close those off so as you can see it's quite a powerful little tool and i think if you don't have any sort of other firewall software and you are using the windows firewall then something like this is a must have bit of kit on the system now there is also some other areas here which i wanted to cover here so we've got the about page here and you can see here automatically check for updates and we also have used a proxy configuration here as well and down here we've got manage windows firewall rules and you can click on this and this will open up the windows firewall rules control panel and this will allow you to make your settings inside here for the rules that you want to set for your machine so maybe you don't want to block all of the rules uh, you may just want to block say for instance this program here we can open it up and it will automatically say the program this program and it'll give you the path or you can browse for that path and you can put it for location domain private public and you can set the protocol the local ports you can see i've got it all set to all ports and we can set the action to block and it will block any communication from that program going out of this computer so you can get uh, say for instance some of the more common ones which you don't want going out from microsoft and you can see here it's now gone red and you can reset this and you can remove it as well or disable it whatever you want to do here so you can create a blank rule and you can do some other things here as well now on here as well we do have the um area here where we can have a look at all the connection logs for this system so let me quickly get up some connection logs here and this will give you all the information about what's actually happening on the computer what is going in and out of your computer and you can see here the process id the name and the time generated so if you've got some suspicious activity going on with the computer you can see uh, them listed here and you can see that canon is doing a lot of activity and i will probably end up blocking uh, that there because there's quite a lot so that's how you can control your system a lot more using uh, this tool here called the windows firewall control pretty impressive bit of kit and it's free to use and you've got a link here to the try malware bytes premium if you want to do that you can do by clicking on there if you don't have any sort of antivirus program on your system malware bytes has uh, pretty much up their game lately and you can see here down on the bottom right hand side here you can uh, drop this on here and you can have this on your uh, taskbar here so we can see uh, all the activity down the bottom here 
Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And a special shout out goes to Celtic Lad, Edward Kelly, RTX Brody, Gary Capic, also PC Repair Tech, Vitality, Phil's Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Welsh 21, and Albert Houston. Thanks again for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. I shall see you on the Discord server or in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.